in the previous video we actually derived the equilibrium equation all right so let's talk about um, how do we solve for this equilibrium equation all right straightforward you just apply this general formula all right this general formula eventually help us to get an equation for our sigma rr a okay, and our sigma theta theta our stresses for the radio stress and the um, hoop stress okay with a boundary condition this is just all general equations if you remember back in our if you want to solve for differential equations you have like aekt plus bekt something like that so this is another form of general equation that we have not exposed to all right and same if same same for solving any differential equations you need a boundary condition and therefore what is the boundary condition that we're talking about imagine we have a cylinder over here and we have to look into this side all right you will have is this ring all right at this internal diameter all right at this particular point this is our stress um, our, our, our radio stress and the outer one we also have a radio stress that is acting against um, the external pressure all right the p out and we have a intern so this this thing will act against the um, the p in the, the pressure inside or is the pressure inside is trying to come out while the pressure outside is trying to come in all right so therefore if you are to to, to do in terms of the um, the sign if you're going to towards the side is the positive if you're going to that the side is negative and therefore our PR is going into this side so therefore it's just minus all right and if the if our P in is going in this direction then this is just um, plus all right and then our Sigma RR is actually minus but however, all right, because um, this is within its own system, so this is minus, this is plus, all right? Because they are only at their own equilibrium, all right. P P I and sigma R R for for the interior one is something equals to zero. Either is this is either P I minus sigma R is equals to zero, or minus P I plus sigma R is equals to zero. All right. So in this case, I actually wrote it as um, sorry, um, minus pi, and this is plus sigma r. So same as this system, this is the outside system, this is the interior system. Alright, this also explains why our boundary condition is, um, sorry, over here. Alright, at the radius interior, we're talking about sigma r is equals to the negative pi. Alright, while the, um, here I shouldn't write as sigma r minus pi is equals to zero. It should be sigma r is equals to pi. All right, they are both equivalent. All right. However, this 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 pi is going in this direction. All right. While sigma r is going in this. Okay. Um, sigma r is going in this direction is negative. Why right? pi is going in this direction is plus. Okay. But we can also flip the sign. So therefore, this one become plus. This one become minus. This is for the interior, which is what we have seen over here. As for the exterior now, all right, sigma rr is over here, is equals to um, a minus pressure outside, all right, for the radius um, that is outside, even meaning the outside radius, all right, and therefore we are talking about this thing, all right. If I didn't explicitly explicitly define, this is the interior radius, this is the exterior radius, all right. So far so good. So. From here, we know that within the system has a pressure interior and a pressure exterior, right outside. Okay, so these are the boundary conditions for our system. Now, how do we solve for our A and B? All right, in order to to, to get um, a certain equation for sigma r and sigma theta theta, we can actually write in terms of uh, the if sigma for this case, all right, is interior. So we will just write interior. If that's the case, sigma r is equals to minus pi over here instead of sigma r anymore. All right, r <coughs> sorry, r square will become r i square. All right. Next, if sigma r is equals to minus pi, which is this case, at the radius outside, so I'll just write it as outside, and the radius is actually outside square. All right. So I'm just simply applying um, these two boundary condition into this particular equation over here okay I'm just simply applying all right this for this case this one is the interior for this case this one is the exterior or the outside all right i hope that this is pretty clear so far so therefore this equation all right this equation 
is our equation one. All right, this this thing over here. All right, well this equation over here is our equation two. Okay, so this is the interior one. This is the exterior one the outside. So if I want to solve for a and b, it's just simultaneous equation. So I take um, equation one minus equation two. So a minus a it becomes zero minus this one minus minus this one what we will have is um, plus over here all right so minus bri squared is over here minus minus so you become plus all right equals to this one all right this 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 one will come here this one will come here okay so far so good in other words this one minus minus this one okay which is this one all over here after you do that just take a look all right just take a look and like this this thing is simply this one and then well this one is this one okay hope that is pretty clear before i go on all right next minus pi which is here all right minus minus po so it will become plus pl over here so this one is here this one is simply this one all right with a minus minus cancel all right hopefully this is pretty clear for you since we know that b is constant for both sides i'll just factorize out the b over here all right and zero is simply zero all right we don't care anymore okay next this is plus so if you factorize out b all right you have one over r out square all right this is for example like this right this is a plus so i'll just bring this one over here okay well, if I have this one, if I were to factorize out b, alright, this whole thing will be factorized out by b, alright, this will, I have minus 1 over ri square, I'll just spread over here. So I'm just simply rearranging stuff only, and then factorizing out the b. Right, so this one is exactly the same as this portion over here. Yeah, just double check, alright, just, I didn't cheat your feeling. Well, same thing, the p out over here is a plus, I'll just bring over here, because I'm just rearranging. So the negative will just bring it behind. I'm just re re rearranging the equation. So we want to solve for b now. So I'll just simply take this whole chunk and divide and, and go all the way down. So what I will have is b is equals to this equation. And then we can actually make equa this, this equation become a slightly beautiful one. All right, because it's one something divided by one divided by something. You know, this is really very hairy. So therefore I just rearrange with this is equals to one so i'll just simply multiply this one into here all right so what you have is um, minus pi over here multiplied by r square ri square okay which is this one okay divided by so this thing will multiply into each of them right into each of them so what you will have is this thing over here all right bracket so this this thing is multiplied into the, the denominator Right, so I have this, I can simply cancel them, so this one can be cancelled, and then this one can be cancelled. What, what I would have is, so this, this thing over here, I am simply move over here, the numerator I didn't change. So now it's ri squared minus ro squared, so I have it over here. Okay, it's pretty nice now, and this whole thing is just simply rewriting as equals to b. Alright, so I'm just simply rewriting this whole chunk, alright, into this one. And this is B, our, our B. Alright, and you can simply sub it into any of the equation, equation 1 or equation 2, also can. I, in this case, I sub it into equation uh, B as a equation in, into equation 1. Alright, so this is our equation 1. I'll just copy over here, and then I'll just sub in B as this chunk over here. What we have is this. Alright, this thing is simply our B. Okay, while the rest are the same, as you can see, we didn't change anything. Alright. So if that's the case, if I were to, to divide by ri square now, why what do I have? Alright. <coughs> normally this um sorry, normally this 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 equation is actually quite messy. So I can actually write as divided by ri square. Alright. If that's the case, then I can actually change it to times. So it's one divided by ri square. And then you can can, can you can see clearly now. So it's ri square cancel with ri square. And what we have is just simply this one cancel with this one all right and the end we have this one over here all right i'm some simply um, removing all this all right removing all them 
Therefore, if I were to solve for A, I'll just simply bring this thing over to the other side. It goes to plus over here. Okay? And then we want to make things, um, we do an equation because it's just something plus something which is not very nice. What we can do is this one over here. So I'll just simply change this as 1. 1 times minus pi is still its own self. Alright, so I'm just simply multiplying 1 over here. If I were to multiply it in into here, I expand, or I expand, what I will have is, um, wait, I have this. Alright, this blue color one, alright, is when I multiply and an split <sighs> and expand, I'll have this thing over here. And this green color one is over here. Alright, the denominator is now the same, so they are into it. They are actually the same now, right? So let's take a look. We can actually cancel out something. Alright, what is the something that we can cancel out? It's PIRO square and PIRO square. This is minus, this is plus. Alright, so we can cancel them. And what we have back is 1. Alright, the blue color one is still over here, the green color one is still over here. But the denominator, I didn't change anything. You can just double check. Alright, and therefore this is equals to our A. So far so good. So therefore we have A, alright, we have A and we have B, alright, it's their own equation. Then we can just sub in into our sigma R and sigma theta theta. And therefore we have this thing over here, alright, this chunk over here, sorry, this chunk over here is A, and this chunk over here is B, and this is just 1 over R squared, which is the denominator one. Alright, so this is it, alright. This is your whole whole chunk for your hoop stress. Okay, for your hoop stress. Okay, I mean radio stress. <laughs> Sorry, radio stress. Sigma R R. Okay, but next is what what makes this different from this? All right. This if you take a look, this one is from your your star. All right. This equation is actually um, when you assume that the pressure is the pressure outside is equals to zero. All right. So if I were to assume that pressure outside is equals to zero now. Okay, I'm just simply, I'll be simply cancelling this thing, and this thing. Hey, sorry, <laughs> cancelling this thing. Alright, and what I have is here. Alright, but because this denominator is different from this denominator because of this R square over here, I multiply everything by um, R square. Alright, okay, I multiply everything by R square. So therefore, I have um, this thing over here, which is the R square over here now. So now, this, while well, this one is, is, is the same as this, this one is still the same with the multiplication with R square. Okay, next. Since this is minus and minus, we can say that this whole thing is plus. Alright, you remove the bracket. Alright, I remove the bracket. Now, what are the common terms that we can see here now? We see our PI, or our internal pressure, and our interior radius, internal radius and internal pressure. So I can actually factorize out our stuff and what I would have is um, PI or RI square and what we left inside is actually the R square. Instead of R square is minus R square because it's yeah you see. So therefore minus R square and then plus uh where is it? R O square. R O square. And then the denominator is still the same. If you were to compare to the equation that is uh, in the book itself, right? This, um, this is this is a little different. Is that the outside square is minus r square instead of you? You, see, you can see that it's flipping. All right, this is sigma r r. So it's a uh, it's a flip of sign. All right, so this is minus r square. This is r square. This is r o square. This is minus r o square. And uh, yeah, you see. So R I square, this is um, minus R I square, this is minus R O square, this is R O square. But this this is exactly the same as this if you were to um, so call um, rearrange the sign because if you were to say that this is minus and this is plus, you're gonna factorize out the, the minus over here. And if this is plus, this is minus, you're gonna factorize out the minus, and this minus minus will cancel each other, you'll still get back this thing over here. Alright, in fact I'll not actually go through with you in subbing all this because it's a long method But at the end of the day, we will still get back uh, this equation Over here, this is your sigma theta theta and this is sigma r r So now, when you're talking about thickness, I mean, I mean uh, 
thick wall um, vessels this is your RR and your beta data your stress alright but what about Sigma ZZ alright we, we actually didn't look at it for all all, all the stuff since we, st since we started off with the thick wall vessels right Sigma ZZ alright the stress ZZ is acting along the longitudinal one right so therefore the summation of forces is equals to zero is sigma zz all right multiply by the x the, the outside radius all right with the interior radius all right so in fact what i'm doing now is actually to do a, so we know that this is the, the stress stress times stress must multiply with an area right so the area must be pi r square all right but the r itself is dependent on on the um you could take it that um taking this area Alright, this this big area, R O minus away this small area. Alright, will give you the purple color area. So so to speak, because we are talking about the the stress for acting on this purple this purple color area. Right, and therefore what we can write is this is R square minus R square. Alright, so this whole thing is just the area pi R square, and it's equals to the pressure. The pressure is within this this uh, circular stuff. Right, this pressure is within and is acting all along this this pathway all right and therefore it's acting on 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 this particular surface also which is in the interior stuff of it all right so we have a certain pressure we call this the pressure inside i right, multiply with its um so-called pi r i square okay which is interior area all right so now we have a common term as you can see is we have pi and pi over here okay now we are going to write in terms of sigma zz right so the rest of it we'll just simply bring down over here i'll just bring it down if i were to bring it down we have this thing all right sigma zz is equals to pi which is this one times r square this one and then the denominator is bring bring over to the bottom over here all right therefore this derive our stress zz over here okay it's the same thing <coughs> and that's it before I go before I go I just want to um, take note of something R square what is R square R square is the radius that you input if you are keen to actually look at a slice you're looking to actually look at this particular slice of its um, of its um, hoop stress and, and its radial stress if you're looking at this portion over here if you want to look at this portion over here you want to look at its, its particular stress you can actually sub in your R square over here eventually you can solve for your stresses acting on this particular red color um, cylinder I mean, you, you could say but the the, indi the internal one and our external one is still defined as, as per normal all right? it's just that we want to actually look at this particular slice of it and see um, what are the stresses acting along and therefore we actually finally derive your hoop stress, radial stress and your axial stress or your longitudinal stress and I'll see you in the next video for some other stuff. And in fact, before I go, this is the Lamy's equation also. Yeah, so see you there.